Good evening. I'm Richard, the best man, co best man. Uh, so bear with me. I'm a little nervous. I'm not a public speaker, so I will do my best to get through this. It's actually pretty long now that I look at it. <laughs> so. My name is Richard, James's brother and co best man. And before I get started, I'd really like to thank everybody for coming out and sharing this special day. I'd also like to thank the families involved and the people who contributed to help bring this special day together. Thank you very much. Well, where do I begin? James, Joe, my brother, and I have always been close. The three of us may look very similar, as most of you know. <laughs> uh, we're actually, in fact, very different. I can stand here and tell you embarrassing stories, but that's actually not what you paid me for. <laughs> uh, but no, I'm joking. James and I have always been really close. He's been a great brother and friend. I've always looked up to him. He's really smart, he's athletic, and well, he's always had the hottest girlfriends. <laughs> so naturally, I wanted to learn the ways of the master. <laughs> so. I guess now I'll just have to use what I've learned from him and find my own. And brother, if I find a girl half as beautiful as Rachel, I'll consider that a victory. And James, may I just say, Rachel is the most beautiful bride I've ever seen. And well now, Rachel, let me talk a little bit about you now. I first had the opportunity of getting to know Rachel when she was in Seattle on vacation. We got to hang out and talk. She introduced me to Thai food, which is actually one of her favorite foods. During her visit there, there must have been some old flame reignite as her and my brother soon began their journey together after. She later um, came and spent some time with us in the su on her summer break. As I had an opportunity to watch their relationship develop, I got to see firsthand how compatible they really were. I never heard a crossed word or any disrespect from either of them, and I can say I've learned a lot from seeing how easy it is to be with someone you truly love and you respect in all aspects of life. Each one of them identified the other as their true better half and soulmate. Watching them constantly hold hands and call each other pet names like Bougie and Babe was honestly, for me, kind of sickening. <laughs> but overall, it was nice to see them in love. Rachel has a great let's get it done now personality and James has the well let's just wait till tomorrow so it's no wonder why even in their differences they're compatible I can say to some degree that well me and Rachel have gotten to know each other very well we lived together for a while and while James was away during the school at, during the week uh, in the Bay Area me and Rachel had no choice but to actually talk to each other <laughs> she would make me watch all of her TV shows and including Real Housewives of New York, Real Housewives of Atlanta, Real Housewives of Orange County. Oh. And, oh, that's actually not it. In preparation for the wedding, we had to watch shows like Four Weddings, Say Yes to the Dress, My Gypsy Wedding, Bridezilla, and who knows what else we watched. So after a while, I could tell what kind of dress the brides would wear, the style, fabric. <laughs> so believe me, when James showed up on the weekends, he was not impressed with my new knowledge and <laughs> wedding fashions and dresses. <laughs> but you know, I've actually really grown to like Rachel and a respect for her authority. One moment of authoritative imposition came after Bruni, Bruno, her dog, uh, well, one of her better halves <laughs> did something bad. Rachel stood over him yelling, I'm the King Kong of doggy killers, so behave. <laughs> I couldn't help but laugh. I guess in their, their relationship is like a tripod. You've got James, Rachel, and their dog, Bruno. Rachel has actually ran out in the middle of a street with cars whizzing by to save her dog who jumped out in the middle of the street. And James has fended off posse of raccoons that attack, attack Bruno. So if this is an indicator of how they will care for their own children, then they are well on their way to being great parents. Wink, wink. I know I've talked a lot about Rachel, and it's just because now she's 
a new addition to our wolf pack. There was just five of us in our wolf pack, my parents. I love you, Mom and Dad. <laughs> and there was three of, three of us wolves in the wolf pack. So today, to add to our wolf pack, one more female wolf. <laughs> so all in all, a good day to remember. We added one more wolf to our wolf pack. So. To James and Rachel, may love be the foundation, happiness your everyday, and Bruno the little Cooper that brings you back to reality.